Oh, look, there's some now. Looks like it's going to be a white Christmas. Oh! What are you talking about? Oh, my Toilet God. Paper and dingleberries. Ooh, dingleberries. Is Ew. that a new kind of fruit? Can I no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Hey, guys, my name's Dan, and this is Joseph, and this reaction is an SML movie. This is Dougie's Call of Duty heist, and I kind of figured something like this was coming sooner rather than later because Dougie is a huge fan of Call of Duty. New Call of Duty just came out, and there's no more October, which means no more scary videos, which makes him very, very happy because he does not like the scary at all, just none whatsoever. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm not sure how he's going to plan this, but it looks like we have a lot of money involved because I'm sure Marvin's not going to pay for it. And Brooklyn guy and Marvin, for some reason, are smiling. Not really sure why, but we're going to have to wait and see on that. And before we do, though, please check all those links I have for you down in the description below. More specifically, the SML one, if you haven't already. So a great way to support everyone at SML. And a great and easy way to support me is to go right below this video and click all those buttons down there. Because now I want to see future reactions that I do, but also for my channel to grow. And without any further ado, let's go. Are you ready for your vasectomy, Marvin? I just want oh. to hurry up and get this over with. Hey, Marvin, ready to stop being a man? What? Well, I was just asking if you're ready for me to cut your balls off. You're not going to actually cut my balls off. No, but I mean, I might as well. They're not going to work anymore. Oh, you're not going to be able to have kids after this. Well, me and Rose decided that we don't want to have kids. Jeffy's enough. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. I mean, I would never do this personally, like ever. But I mean, hey, you do you, man. If I can even call you a man, because you're not really going to be a man after I cut your balls off. That's but I'm still going to have my balls. Well, yeah, but what's the point? I mean, they're not going to work. I can't invite you to boys' night because you're not really going to be a boy anymore you know what people say Man, that guy's got balls they're not gonna be talking about you because you're not gonna have any balls can we just hurry up and get this over with all right you want anesthesia or not of course i want anesthesia see there's the no balls already see a real man would take it like a man uh, well, I, no. well i don't want to be awake during it oh yeah i wouldn't want to be awake either to see the massive mistake i was making it, listen listen me and rose do it all the time and i don't want to risk getting her pregnant marvin you don't have to kid yourself it's not like you can get your right hand pregnant no no no, oh, no we seriously God. do it all the time me and her are always in bed marvin you don't have to lie to me i'm married <laughs> too i've had some dates with old righty and lefty yeah that's right i use both i mean oh. not at the same time i mean i don't have enough unit to use them both at the same time i, just I mean, mean some of us I are switch more off, you know sure. like like uh pitchers in the world series when one gets tired i just switch from right to left you know okay well can i please just get a different doctor to do my vasectomy no there's no other doctors here qualified oh. to do vasectomies i mean there used to be one but he doesn't work here anymore his name was dr vinnie vasectomy vinnie oh, man, vasectomy? he loved doing vasectomies he loved them so much he changed his last name to vasectomy wow and he would just give anybody a vasectomy even if they didn't want it just ran around with a pair of scissors snipping balls oh. and then one day he wanted to do the biggest vasectomy ever the president of the united states so he got a Biden? job working as the oh hedge clipper God. in the white house garden and then one day the the president came out and he just ran at him trying to snip his balls yeah he didn't even get close the the secret service just shot oh, him dead sure. right there yeah I that mean, makes sense not even close they just lit his ass up he's dead so yeah he's dead so you just get me well, can you just hurry up and do the vasectomy? Jesus, Marvin, you left your pants on and your shoes? What's wrong with my pants? Well, how am I supposed to cut yeah, your seriously? balls off with your pants on, Marvin? Do I just cut through them? Well, you can just take them off once I'm asleep. And you're wearing a shirt and tie? Marvin, this is a surgery, not a job yeah, interview. Yeah, seriously, well, just take dude. take my clothes off once I'm asleep. I'm not going to undress you like a G.I. Joe, Marvin. That's weird. Well, I don't want to get it naked in front of you. I don't want you to see my stuff. I'm going to see it. I'm going to be down there. I'm going to see everything. Well, can't you just do it through the pants leg? Through the pants oh, leg? Oh, my those God, are Marvin. Are your balls really all the way down there? No, listen, just do it. Let's give me the anesthesia. Uh, sometimes I think he's dumber than Jeffy. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll give you the anesthesia. I mean, nothing against Jeffy. He's just... Never mind. Jeez. There you go. Ow. You feeling it? Oh, uh, I'm getting lightheaded. I, I'm fading away. No, you're not, Marvin, because that was just air. <laughs> At least you get to have your lifetime movie moment. Oh, my God. You. I'm fading away. What are you, Hayden Christensen? You fucking suck. Oh, just give me the real anesthesia so I can go to sleep. Okay. All right. Okay. Give me the real stuff. Jeez. Baby, no ball. All right, I'm gonna do it in the head this time. Not my head. Ah! Oh! Go to sleep. Uh, uh. <laughs> I have to pee. Well, wait, Cinderella. You're gonna miss the ball snip. <laughs> you get that Mormon ball snip? Oh yeah, you're asleep. Yep. Well, you would have laughed at that. All right, let me get these pants off. Oh my God, Dougie! <laughs> Oh, 
Marvin, how were you awake? There was real anesthesia that time. I had this dream that Dougie was right in front of my face asking me for $70 for the new Call of Duty game. Yeah, he is. He's right there. Oh! Please give me $70 for the new Call of Duty game! Dougie, how'd you get in here? He just barged in. I told him he can't be here. This is an operating room, but he insisted you give him $70, and he's been yelling at your unconscious body for the last 20 minutes. Damn! Dibs, what are you doing? I'm getting a vasectomy, Dougie. What's a vasectomy, Dibs? I'm cutting his ah! balls off. Oh, so you got money to cut your balls off, but you ain't got money to give me the game. Get out of here, Dougie. Anything not to get me the game. How much is going to cost anyway? The insurance is covering it. Oh, you think the insurance will cover me getting the game? No! That's not how Doctor, that works! Did you do my vasectomy? No, I haven't even started. You see this mask? That's because when I took your pants off, I get hit by the odor of unwashed scrotum. You haven't bathed in, I'm assuming, days based Ew. on the smell. And you haven't shaved because it looks like the Amazon rainforest down there. Bro, who? Like, when you're going... Okay. Whenever I'm going out with anybody, going around with people, I try to take a shower. I try to smell nice every single time. But especially for something like this, come on, dude. Looks like a mushroom sticking out of a bush. I didn't know I had to shower or shave before surgery. Oh, you thought we were going to do that for you, too? And it's just common courtesy, Marvin! And undress you? The most impressive thing I've done today was take your pants off over your shoes. Oh, and by the way, Marvin, you have dingleberries and little bits of toilet paper in your ass. You're one fart away from having a blizzard in this bitch. Listen, could you just hurry up and do my vasectomy, please? God, I don't think the scissors are going to cut through all that hair that's matted down with dried urine and sweat and God knows what else. So I'm postponing the surgery for another six months until you can sort all that shit out. Six months? What if I get my wife pregnant? Believe me, she's not going to go anywhere near that thing if she can find it, and even yep. if she did, the smell would scare her away. Ugh. Come on, Dougie. It's a game stop to get the game? No! <laughs> Hey, Marvin, how was your vasectomy? You left me at the hospital. I'm sorry, Marvin, but I had to pee, and you know I don't like public restrooms. I had to take an Uber. You got money for an Uber, but you ain't got money to get me to get Oh, my how God. How did your vasectomy go? The doctor had to cancel it. Why? Because an emergency came up. Marvin got a dirty dick. What? Right, the doggy he doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey there, Snow Globe. Aw, that's a cute nickname. No, it's not. Marvin's one fart away from having a blizzard up in this bitch. What? Oh, look, there's some now. Looks like it's going to be a white Christmas. Oh! What are you talking about? Oh, my Toilet God. and dingle. Berries. Ooh, dingleberries. Is Ew. that a new kind of fruit? Can I no, 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 I don't have seven thousand dollars. Marvin, we're gonna go in debt. Might as well be in debt another seventy dollars to give me the game. Shut up, Dougie. Listen, Doctor, we don't have seven thousand dollars right now. You have to give us a few months to pay it. Well, that's not gonna work. You gotta pay it right now, and not paying a hospital bill is a crime. So if you don't pay me, I'm gonna have to arrest you. Uh, arrest us? Uh, we don't have seven thousand dollars. You gotta give us some time, please. All right, fine. I'll be nice and give you till tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning? morning. To come up with seven thousand dollars. Oh my god, how are we gonna oh, do here's that? Oh, the heist! And trust me, buddy, I feel bad charging you all this money, because apparently you can't afford soap or a razor yeah, or even apparently. a comb, but I just really can't let this shit slide. And apparently your shit can't slide either, it gets caught oh, in the neck. Oh, I thought what you is there. he talking about? I don't know, but we need to focus on Oh my on god, Roast! How have you not figured this out yet? $7,000 tonight. I mean, you're around him 24-7, how do you not know? Ew! Marvin, why are there pieces of toilet paper on the couch? What? Marvin's ass. What? No, 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 listen, guys, let's focus on the $7,000. I'll go to jail oh. if we don't pay him by tomorrow morning. Ooh, I got some idea for my dips. What is it? Well, if you give me $70 to get the new Call of Duty Black... No! Hold oh, no, on, no, I'm not finished, Yips. I need $70 to get a new Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And then I play the game for really, really, so really good. And then they see how really good I'm being playing at the new game that I in a new Call of Duty Black Ops I'm six competitive pips, and then I win the competitive pips, and then I give you some money for your dirty ass. Okay, but he needs money by tomorrow. How are you going to do all that in one night? What? Uh, listen, uh, that would be an amazing idea, but is there even a contest that'll pay $7,000 tonight? Not yet, but when they see how really good I'm playing the game, they're going to make one. Well, that would be a really good idea if we could get the money tonight, but we cannot get the money tonight. I don't even have $70 to buy the game. We need to make up money without buying anything. Oh, I got some other ideas. I'll be right back. 
All right, my bibs, I went to the gas station and I stole some Mr. Beeps oh, candy Mr. bars because it says right here you could win a million dollars. Dougie, the, what are the odds of actually winning a yeah, million dollars off a candy bar? It's never going to happen. Well, I got 12 of them right here, so there could be 12 million dollars in here. There's no way there's 12 million dollars in there, Dougie. It's a waste of time. I have to find a way to get $7,000 tonight. Well, I got another idea, but it could get us in a lot of many really good troubles. Oh. Will, will it get us to $7,000? Yeah. Well, then tell me yeah. about it. All right. So we dress up like robbers and we go to the banks while it's closed. And there's probably going to be a security guard sitting outside. So we have to distract him so bank. good. So we throw a bucket of KFC chicken. <laughs> and he start of eating course. and saying, yummy so good. Yummy so good. And while he eating, we go inside the bank. And it's probably going to be a bunch of red lasers. So we take mirrors to our face and baps to make the lasers bounce off. And then we get to the safe and you pull out a <laughs> Cool. And then listen to the right company to the safe. And then we open it up, sorry, and there's what? so much money, so money, so good. And we start stacking our pop ups. Then we blow the holes in the roofs, and a helicopter drops a ladder down, Oops. and we escape. And then I buy the new Call of Duties, and I plays it all night long, and I'm so happy. Okay, that plan is impossible, Dougie. We don't yep. have a helicopter to help us escape, and yep. we can't afford KFC to distract the no. guard. Okay, fine. Then we just knock out the guard, break into the bank, and steal the money. All right, let's, let's just do it. Cause we're, oh we're my god! And we need the money. Come on, let's get the outfits. Okay. So desperate. Wells Fargo. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, Dougie, we're in. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! The alarm, the alarm already? I ain't no computer nerd. I ain't know how to do that. Well, let's steal the money before the cops show up. Freeze! You're under arrest for trying to rob the bank. Oh my. God, we're so screwed, Dougie. Wait, Marvin? Uh, ah, I no. looked at his ass! Marvin, I know it's you. I saw the toilet paper on your ass. Oh, my God. Marvin, oh. why are you trying to rob a bank? I owe you $7,000 for anesthesia. And the dingleberries. And the, and the dingleberries. And also the $70 for the new Call of Duty game. Very important. I'll tell you what. I'll let you rob this bank because I really want you to clean your ass. Wait, you're going to let me rob the bank? Yeah, come on. I'll let you in the hole. Okay. Wow, oh, really? Sips, I got the new Call of Duty's Black Pop Sips. I'm going to be placing it all night long. Marvin, you got away with it? Oh, yeah, baby. The plan went perfectly. We walked right into the bank and just got away with it. Marvin, don't lie. I just let you take all the money yep. so you could afford to clean your dirty ass. Marvin, what is he talking about? I don't know. Just oh, take the $7,000 like, oh, and get out of here. No, I'm taking all of it. See, it's the perfect crime. I let you rob the bank and then I come take the rest of the money. But, 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 but you can't steal the money. I stole that stealing. Hey, call the fucking cops, huh? You can't yeah. because I'm the cops. And if you I, did call I, the cops, I just tell them you stole it, which you did. What? Jesus, Snow Globe, look at that. Oh, oh my, my God. God. What is wrong with you? Marvin, where's all this tissue paper coming oh from? Oh, my his God. Ass. It's his ass confetti. Look at that. You can make snow angels in it. Go ahead, Marvin. Make some snow angels. No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. Hey, hey, Marvin, I have some important documents I need traded. Could you wipe your ass with them? I mean, how does this even happen? What are you doing in there? I don't uh, know. Listen, I, buddy, just take, take the money and leave. I'll please. tell you what. Here's 100 bucks. Buy yourself a razor and some soap. Jesus. Well, you live in the rest of the money? No. No, I'm not, Marvin. I'm taking it. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Wow. Still not sure how Rose didn't figure things out just yet. Liter well, I mean, I guess sort of at the end how it took him so, took her so long to do so. I really don't know. And I don't know how somebody could go that long without showering or doing any of that and nobody else notice around them. I, I just don't understand it. Like, how, how would anybody not notice? Especially Rose, who's literally a foot away from him. Probably closer all the time. Just all the time. They're right next to each other. And you would smell that. You would literally smell that. But apparently, Rose is just completely oblivious to all this. I, I don't know what that really says about her or what that says about Marvin. But either way, it is... It is very much messed up. That will do it for us here. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the Call of Duty heist. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Check all those links I have for you down in the description below. Then lastly, and most importantly, I want to give a huge shout out to all my $5 and up supporters on Patreon. Cruising, Wilbur310, Kester Cronage, Joshi, Chris Curtis, Ann Perry, Boss Coffany, Misa, Misa2, Lily the Snoopy Fan, Lauren, Jenny the Swifty, Allison the Aesthetic Girl, Flea Street Vicomp, Emily the Flower Lover, Steffi, Some of the Dog Lover, Misa3, 
Arrow Hamster, Inka Lindquist, Aubrey the Charlie Brown Lover, Thomas Shawanowit, Carter Resnick, Noah Mowdy, and Sam Nang. And if you too like to have a shout out at any each every one of my videos, please head over to patreon.com slash for more. And I'll see you guys next time.